who's here? It's Carolyn Carter, and she's brought Caitlin King with her today, and two guests from the uh, Humane Society of North Central Arkansas. Hi, Carolyn. Hi. It's always good to see you. Thank you so and much Kate, for having us Caitlin, again. Caitlin King. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us who you brought with you today. So I have Sibby here. And Caitlin has her, her, links. her sibling, Lynx. Sibby? Sibby. Sibby. Sibby and Lynx. And uh -huh. tell us about there these. You go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you got a card I have right a, a, a card here that you know, I we, could have we just could get you in a cat really quick. <laughs> <laughs> so we can get you into two cats really quick. <laughs> yes, very easily. They are tell looking for a them. home. Oh, yeah. Yes. They're looking for a home and tell us about them. How old are they? Um, they're about two and a half months now. Um, they were found, believe it or not, as strays. Um, now, did you we, go looking for them, or did someone didn't. bring them Somebody in? Somebody brought them in to us. Um, they brought Mama and three babies. One baby okay. has already been adopted. Oh, okay. Mama's still at the shelter. She's hanging out, waiting for a home of her own. Um, but I brought the babies with us because we're in the height of kitten season. Um, so we have lots and lots and lots of kittens to choose from. And how old are, are Sibby and Lee? Um, they're about... Two and a half months. Two months. Yeah. So, are yeah. they ready to go now? I they mean, they are. They've already. Anything? They've already been altered. They've already gotten their first set of vaccinations. That's the first time I've heard that altered. <laughs> altered. Yeah. Spayed or neutered. Yeah. Spayed, spayed or neutered. neutered yeah. Uh -huh. Whatever is appropriate. Absolutely. <laughs> um, they've uh, gotten their first set of vaccinations. Um, they got stuff for fleas, and they got stuff for worms, and they got stuff for parasites. And people don't know the, uh, a lot about that. They think, if I, I just want a pet, I just want it, we're not going to do anything else. But there's a, you have to do these things. You do. On a regular you basis. have to take care of them on a regular basis because they get those types of things mm -hmm. from the environment. Right, um, and, it, and if you have an outside animal, you're going to have to do some kind of uh, tea, uh, tea, tick and flea. Absolutely. Uh, uh, removal or prevention. Uh huh. Yes, and they need they need that prevention. They sure do, um, because they just love to get on them. Yeah, right. And, and right. it's really bad for their health. So mm -hmm. are, it, they've had their vaccinations uh -huh. now, and it, uh -huh. so they're ready to go. Are they litter box trained? Or they are. Oh, wow. So They are. They use the litter box at the shelter. Now, they don't you find that most, really most cats are looking for some kind of area to go Absolutely. do their business cats in anyway? Absolutely. Cats are very yeah. clean. Yes. They really are. Yes. As long as their litter box is clean, they'll use it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And they've been socialized, obviously. All the, of course, all of the kittens and cats and dogs. Absolutely. Or socialized at the Humane Society. Mm -hmm. These kittens are, are, are kind of laid back. They, they really are. As, a, as opposed they're, to some of them. They are being around. very good, but they yeah. had a very good play session this morning. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So yes. they're a little tired. What kinds of things um, would somebody that's interested, maybe that hasn't owned a cat in the, in the past, what kinds of things would they need to be aware of if they're... Um, well, if cat. you get a kitten, we actually recommend you get two. Um, because and, and why is that? Because one kitten will actually get into trouble. They they will climb on things. Mm -hmm. They will knock mm -hmm. over things. They'll okay. climb curtains because they're bored. Mm -hmm. But so if they, they have, have a one, they, buddy, yeah. they'll play with each other. And most of the time, and that that's will keep what they them out today. of trouble. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's why they're kind of laid back Absolutely. and calm right now. Okay. Absolutely. Um, they do a whole lot better together as as a couple. Um, most people who have cats have more than one. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, it's actually a good thing, especially if it's a kitten. Mm -hmm. um, but having things to climb, um, because kittens love to climb, having things to play with, bat around on the floor, like little balls, um, little 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 bitty scraps of fabric um they they love to play with just about anything um they'll steal the the um rings from milk jugs oh uh. they love those things um toilet paper empty toilet paper rolls mm -hmm. they will bat those around like nobody's business That's funny so yeah. uh it, you don't have to invest a lot of money no, in you really don't expensive toys mm. like no. just things around the house that absolutely so in the climbing trees or things of that nature, you can just get at Walmart or at Pet uh -huh. or any place. So absolutely, and scratch posts, scratch obviously, posts. Um, mm -hmm. because they need to have some place to um, take those sheets off of their nails. 
Mm -hmm. So, as their nails grow... As opposed to the, the, to the corner of the, the furniture. Yes. yes, and, and you know, a lot of people are, are um, worried about that. And you can actually train a cat. Yeah. Um, they're very trainable. Um, with a spray bottle and the word no, they learn um, before long. All you have to do is take the bottle out, and then before long, they don't do it at all. And mm -hmm. the, the scratch... Uh huh. Area that they'll go to that. And yes. Okay. How funny. Yes. Interesting. So, and you said the mother will be up for adoption. Yes, as mom well, is available for adoption as well. Her name is Boots. And how old is she? She's about three, I believe. Mm -hmm. So, would she be um, spayed? Before yes, she, she has already been spayed. I, I had to stop to think which <laughs> altered. Which? altered. I know. <laughs> it so. makes it easy if you say altered. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And so, and you have quite a few cats we do. right now that you yes. need to. Uh, talking about spay and neutering, are there spay and neuter clinics coming up? Um, I'm not sure they're well, throughout the year. They um, do. We have actual, um, we have low income vouchers. So if people um, okay. can't afford to do it, um, we can write them a voucher. They get to choose their vet. Um, we have several that participate with us. Oh, that's cool. Majority yeah. of them in town, actually. Yeah. Um, so they get a, a discount? They get, uh, they get the voucher. So we cover the basic spay or neuter. Um, they um, require that they have a rabies vaccination, so they have to pay for that. They have to pay for that. Okay. Uh -huh. um, but they're, they're... Oh, that's a great, absolutely. great idea. Um, we also have vouchers for community cats. Um, so community cats are the wild or feral cats. Yeah. Um, so we get a lot of kittens from community cats. And so we're of trying course. to cut down yeah. that population. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and so we give out vouchers for anybody who's in our area. Um, oh, we, when you when you see feral cats like that, it's, it, and I've seen this a time or two, someone will will feel um, uh, like they need to help. Uh huh. So they'll put out cans of food, which uh, kind of exasperates the situation if the, if they don't take an, an effort to get them spayed or neutered. Yes, yes. yes. Spaying, spaying and neutering is very very important um, because otherwise they have babies to uh, accustomed to their food source. So if they have yeah. a lot of food, they have a lot of babies. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Really? Yeah. So, so if, they, if, if their butt bellies are full, mm -hmm. they may have more offspring. Mm -hmm. Well, that's wow. interesting. That, that fact, is interesting. Isn't it? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. So, um, so, so if you're if you're one of those people that are are feeding uh, out of sympathy, mm -hmm. then you probably should go ahead and try to get those vouchers yes. that we're talking about. Trap, mm -hmm. neuter, and release, and then feed. Trap, neu trap, trap neuter, neuter, and, and release. release. Yes. Okay. Neuter and release. Yeah. Okay. And if you ever see a kitty that has their ear, the tip of their ear cut off, um, that, that's a universal yeah, sign yeah, okay. that they have been. Now, altered. is it a is it a V in the ear? Um, no, they just, just take the, cut it. the the tip of the ear. They cut so that off. So it's flat. So it's flat end. instead oh. of pointed. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Um, okay. That's a universal sign that they have been altered already. So if you happen to catch one of those, you can let it go, knowing that it's already oh, been that, altered. Oh, that's nice. Well, Very nice. Uh huh. Well, that's a fascinating. Fun facts <coughs> about cats. Right. <laughs> well, well, when we were miking. Everyone up here, you said something about Caitlin had a program that she Caitlin introduced. Caitlin is amazing. Yes. Thank you. She is amazing. Um, she has come up with a program that she has been working with our uh, Humane Society animals on. And what's, that, what's that program called, Caitlin? It's called Rescue Readers. It's called so what? Rescue Readers. Rescue, Rescue Readers. Readers. Yes. Okay. And how's that program work? Um, so basically what it is is we get kids um, from the ages of 7 to 17. Um, we get them to come into the shelter, and we were talking about socializing the animals earlier. Um, so this is how we kind of socialize our animals, and we help the kids by letting them read to the animals. To the animals. Um, so you can read to animals like these little guys. And um, what, what's, the, what's the response when a, a child reads to a, a, a kitten? Right. Well, we've had many different responses. Um, some of the dogs and cats will lay right next to them. So um, is it, it's a calming thing. Yes, okay. very much so. Okay. Um, sometimes when we get the little itty bitty kittens that just want to play all the time, um, we have older kids that will go in there and uh, read to them and kind of play with them at the same time um, to kind of like get them energized and um, calm them down a little bit so that when they go back, um, they have their calmer and um, it's been so a really good it, thing. Wh what did you did you hear about this idea? Did you just Come um, up with it on your own, or how, yes. how did it all work? Yeah, um, it's happening um, with shelters across the nation. So um, I found a little link on Facebook um, about one in Missouri, 
and I watched the video and I was like, I need to do this for our shelter. Um, I've always loved animals since I was a little kid and I wanted to do something to help these little guys um, who just need a lot of love. So that's how so you, kind of you became about. a proactive uh, catalyst for, for this thing, yes. I guess. Yeah. Yes. And how do you get, uh, do kids volunteer? I mean, is there a number that they call if they're interested in getting involved? Um, in we have a Facebook page. It's um, Rescue Readers of North Central Arkansas. So you can look us up on Facebook and, yeah. So. Rescue Readers, R-E-A-D-E-R-S. And yes. how, do, how do you want people to be involved? you want them to be readers or you want them to, to do what? Um, we have a lot of different things. So, um, like, my biggest thing, I think, would be having kids come and read because it really is um, a fantastic, like, thing to get to experience. Um, you get to come into the shelter. Um, when we do orientation, which we do have a training before you can come in and read. Okay. Uh, when we do our orientation, um, you actually get to take a tour of the shelter. So you get to see all of the animals, um, all of the cats and dogs. Uh, so that's really good. They learn about um, the behavior of the animals um, just for like their personal um, mm -hmm. knowledge, um, which you do need to have once you grow up. Um, so I would really encourage everybody um, who has little kids uh, that's watching, um, get them into, uh, into this because it really is a great thing for the kids. Um, they get better reading skills. And mm -hmm. they get to uh, be uh, with these guys. So yeah. um, we also are having right now, whenever you come to the reading, we have donations. So uh, you bring a donation for the shelter, and um, we get, uh, put your name into a jar for a $25 gift card to Sonic. Um, so that's going hey, on right Sonic. now. Wow. Yes. <laughs> um, and you can always bring in, like, if you have extra books or pillows, uh, you can bring them to the shelter to help us out. Um, if you like don't have a any regular kids. pillow oh, uh, sleeping yeah. Yeah, like a Like the little couch pillows. Oh, okay. Because um, the, the kids sit on them when they're reading to the oh, animals. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So we will take any of those um, if you just want to help out. Um, how, how often do you do the reading? We do the readings um, probably about three times a month, I would say. Okay. Um, well, we do orientation one time a month. Yeah, we, and do. we do. We've been doing there in the summer two, two different two times readings. A, two times, okay, yeah. two times a month. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. And all that information is found on your Facebook page. Correct. And you can just go and go there, and if you if you want to be involved, then then uh, you can just do a private message or. Correct. Can you like the group, or yes. you have to join yes. us? Is it a, a secret group, or is it? Um, you have to, I don't. It's, it's an not. open group. Okay. Yeah. Just like it's a it great you're, way you're to okay. get kids involved with the Humane Society. Right. Number Absolutely. One. Well, it and help with reading skills. And also it gives you a better understanding for the animal itself. Right. Um, like I said, we do a little class on animal behavior um, and how to read animal behavior. Um, so it um, gives us, it gives the kids a better understanding of just like what the animals are going through. Um, and how to read an animal, like if you come across uh, like a dog that's uh, gotten loose in the streets mm -hmm. um, and you need to help them, um, but you don't really know how, uh, you can read their body language mm -hmm. and figure out what to do from there. Um, so, and we give um, a lot about the uh, stories about the shelter animals that we have in the shelter. Um, so the kids get to learn like what the shelter um, does for our community sure. yeah. and um, so yeah, I think it's just a great, wow. great thing. That's She's good amazing. Thing. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you're involved. Yeah, it's really good to be, to be involved. You've got a bright future ahead of you. you. I mean, yeah. I just feel like, wow. Yeah. I think and I was still playing with Barbies. <laughs> <laughs> One thing we didn't talk about is you know, funding is always a, a, a monthly thing that we need to, talk, to be concerned about. But the, the thrift shop there yes, helps, our, helps our with that. Yes, our thrift shop is amazing. And yes, everything that is donated to our thrift shop gets sold. All of those products um, that get sold, the money goes to help us to take care of the animals. That's our main source of income. Yeah. We are not funded by any government group. We do not receive funding from the Humane Society of the United States like everyone thinks we do. Really? We don't. No, they work on the laws, changing the laws for the animals, which mm -hmm. is a good thing. Right. Yeah. Um, but they do not yeah, fund the Humane Society. Yeah. And so you're a no-kill shelter. We I mean, are a sure no-kill shelter. Because there's you're always full. Uh huh. Always. That is very one true. One thing I, too. I will say, if you if you're you know cleaning your house out or you have extra clothes, 
always consider the Humane Society Absolutely. as a source to, do, to, to donate. Yes, because, because those donations turn it. into money. Yeah. Thank yes, you. Mm -hmm. absolutely. When you donate, you're helping little kittens like this. And well, Lynx and Sibby are available, and they're here with us yes. on stage. And, and they uh, need a home. Oh, I see you looking. <laughs> they need to come. And Lynx is like, yeah, well, they need they're, they're home. They're ready to go so now. And if you're there. if you're interested in either one of these animals or the ones that are there absolutely. in the shelter right now, they're many, all available. Many available right now. And if you just want to make it a, a family affair, the mother is. Uh, you say her name is Boots. Boots is available. Boots, Sibby, and Lynx are available now at the at the Humane Society of North Central Arkansas. Thank you so so much for being here. Thank you. And come back Thank anytime. You. We always like for you to come and 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 show some of the product that's available. <laughs> we appreciate. <laughs> Y'all have it. dogs. And they don't have a voice, so we have to do it for yeah, them. Sure, absolutely. absolutely. Thank you, Caitlin. Yeah. For Thanks, sharing Caitlin, with for sharing us. with us. Yeah. Thank you. It's fun. Thank you. Mm -hmm. She's amazing. <laughs> well, thank you so much for tuning in. That's our guest lineup for this week. If you want to be a part of our uh, part of being a guest, you can do that by contacting us here at Hometown Television. We're located at 1226 Commerce Drive, and if you would like to call us, our phone number is 870-424-6957. We have a website. Is that what that's a called? A website. We're on the interwebs. But we still call that a website. We, we are. <laughs> HometownTV.net, and we have a Facebook page. Just type in hometown television that'll bring us to our facebook page have your people call our people yeah and if you need extra work around the house she's available <laughs> call her anytime but between the hours of two and four a.m yeah. uh, uh. <laughs> thanks karen thank you dan love you as always thanks for watching we'll see you again next time